Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan here with Right Now Powder Coating, and in today's video, we are going to restore some really, really, really bad Ford wheels. And to show you what I'm talking about, let's take a look right now. All right, here is what we are working on. I don't even know what year these are, but they are old. They are super corroded. As you can see, there's corrosion just building up everywhere. All the paint is flaking off. The beads are horrendous. These have the uh, band sensor clips. Um, these are super expensive, so we're gonna leave these alone. We're gonna put them on there. They'll go through the whole process, but every single one of these wheels looks just as bad as the next. So we're gonna show you guys how we clean these up and restore them to look almost like new. So the first step is to get your hired hand to put them in the acid because you just got off a sales job and you're clean and don't want to do it. So let's get them in the acid and we'll pick up after they are completely stripped. Yeah, we're going to need something so you don't get any monetary gain from your work here other than your paycheck. All right, guys, so that is the setup we have for stripping parts and wheels mostly. These are custom-built tanks. It holds four wheels in there. We have a rinse tank that's treated with baking soda to keep the water in a neutral state, usually around seven. And then we have a rinse-off tank where we can get any loose paint off. We collect the paint, let it dry, throw it away. Our good friends at Express Chem sent us a barrel of rim strip here um, to try, which they're saying is just as good, if not better, than B17, which is what we've used. So these wheels are the first wheels into that chemical. We're going to see how they work, and we will get back to you guys with the results as we move along. All right, wheels are fresh out of the strip tank. Did you dip them? I did. Okay, they're supposed to be rinsed in there. I think there's enough uh, junk on it to break them? Yes. That's why we put them in there and we rinse them. Yeah. Yep. So much work. All right, guys. So here are the wheels all stripped. All the clear coat is off of them. You can still see all the corrosion, which is that white stuff in there. A little bit of staining from the... Uh, um, the stripper um, and it did work really quick so we've been using B17 and clear coats not hard to get off so we haven't really tested it yet but these wheels took about 10 minutes to get all the clear coat off and then we rinsed them off which you saw put them into the oven outgassed them and now we're gonna go in here I just built this big blast room um, we're still trying to get it squared up and everything but we put our blast cabinet in here for now so we're gonna take each wheel we're gonna run them in get them sandblasted so that we can get them over there and get them coated.
right, guys, so we got these out. They have now cooled down. Um, as you can see, when I put the silver on, they didn't look too bad, but when you actually get the silver on, it kind of highlights some of that corrosion. It's hard to see on camera, but you can see some of that texture where the corrosion actually ate into the aluminum. We're going to clear coat these now. that are totally um, cooled down. We're going to give them a nice clear coat and then do a full cure on them. These are just partially cured. You can kind of see the texture there. Uh, when you put that clear coat, it will help hide it just a little bit. Not too much, but it will look better. And you know what these look like to start with, so they are doing a heck of a lot better. Just some quick tips on spraying silver out of a box unit. It, it doesn't fluidize like a hopper would and so you got to be a little bit careful we like to spray on the reclaim mode our uh, dosing errors at 30 our total errors at 2.5 um, the reason we do the recoat mode is because it drops down our micro amps to 10. so what that does is it allows us to lay that metallic down a little bit better without getting the striping or the clumping of color um, the metallic takes a charge really well, so if you have that at 100, it's going to create the metal to want to group together. So by knocking your microamps down, it helps a lot. So that's a good tip for you guys when you do metallics out of a box unit. Try and get your microamps down. Get that current as low as possible. Now we're going to actually switch over to the PCC mode. We're going to be spraying at 100 kV and 4.5 on the microamps. So we'll get that going right now. So those are now in the oven baking. I just wanted to take another quick note to uh, make sure you guys notice how I applied that top coat, that clear. Um, like I said, we use the PCC mode, which dropped down our microamps, which drops down the current that's going into that corona field, which kind of calms down uh, the charge. So if you noticed, I went nice and slow and I kept a really good distance from the part I was about six to ten inches away at all times and what that does is it allows that powder to come out of the gun and kind of float towards the part because we lowered our current we're not soaking up too much energy therefore we didn't get any back ionization when it hit the part and getting away from that part helps because if you get that gun tip too close to the part all that energy is going right into that substrate. And that substrate can only hold so much charge, and since we've already put a base coat down, it's already built up some charge. It's been insulated, and it's going to want to reject excessive charge. So to, to reiterate, I guess, to, to prevent back ionization, lower those uh, UAs, your microamps, um, and get away from the part. We want to be about 6 to 10. I'd say 8 to 10 would be ideal in that type of situation. So those are in the oven. We're going to go ahead and let them do a full cure now and then we will pull them out and check out our final product all right guys these just rolled out of the oven as you can see we don't really deal with clear coating the um, the barrel part we do clear coat the back because we want to protect it yes I powder coated the surface it was severely corroded and that happens because there's no paint on it now I've coated the back side of a lot of these wheels and I've never once had an issue so all the haters you can keep your comments to yourself or share them I don't care it doesn't hurt my feelings but these bad boys they came out pretty nice as you can see 
Um, if you don't remember, go back and look at the front thumbnail for this video because that's the before. Maybe I'll do a split. I don't know. Haven't decided. So anyways, that is how we fix very corrosive wheels. They come out really nice. Hopefully you guys got some tips about gun distance and settings when you're doing a two or a, a not a two tone, but a, a two stage uh, coat. So as always, give us that big old thumbs up if you liked the video. I've been getting a lot of good feedback from you guys on how y'all hate my music, which is fine. Um, it's not really the music I'm after. It's not the editing. I just kind of want to share my knowledge with you guys. So hopefully you're always getting something out of it. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, just let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to check out my other videos. Check out my Amazon links. That does help us out quite a bit when you guys go on there and purchase stuff. We are going to probably start selling some of our powders too to you guys um, who don't want to buy big boxes. So we buy a lot of Tiger. Most of it's not here. Um, but we do buy a lot of Tiger wet black satin matte. It's some of the best stuff on the market. Obviously, we've got all the prismatic stuff. We probably won't deal with that. But I just thought if you guys have any interest in buying 5, 10 pounds instead of a box, let me know and we can see if we can help you out. So, I, again, sorry this is dragging on. Make sure to give us that thumbs up. Give us that subscribe hit. Hit that notification so you know what we're up to. We do live videos here and there. You don't want to miss out on those. And as always, thank you for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.